Thanks for coming. Hopefully you guys can even see me. I'm about to hit some pull-ups on the wide bar. Cause fuck it, I'm not a pussy like you. There is no fucking excuse. There is no fucking excuse. I don't give a fuck what you have or what you think you have, what you think you don't have. I don't give a fuck if you grew up poor. Nobody gives a fuck if you grew up fucking rich. Nobody grew, gives a fuck if you are fucking dumb, smart, green, purple, fucking the color of a fucking phoenix. No one fucking cares. There is no fucking excuse for you not being or living up to your fullest potential. Nobody fucking cares about your fucking excuse. Nobody cares. Get the fuck up and make something fucking happen. Because at the end of the day, you are the one who's responsible for your own fucking destiny. It doesn't get any simpler than that. You're going to be misunderstood. People are not going to understand your drive. They're not going to understand why you're eating so healthy. They're not going to understand why you're working out before your shifts. You're going to be misunderstood. And you just got to deal with it. You got to take certain things to the chin. Because what you got to realize is, is you just based off the fact that you're trying to be somebody better in your life than what you were before, you're going to stand out. Most people don't want to be better. Most people are okay with just being average. They're okay with being fat. They're okay with being ugly. They're okay with having shitty finances. They're okay with it. They're okay with letting the government dictate their lives and force them to put things in their body that they don't want to and that they know is not right or constitutional. Most people are okay with it. Most people are okay with settling with an ugly ass bitch instead of improving themselves, their game, their charisma, their looks, and their finances in order to attract a better mate. Most people are okay with just settling. And when you're not a settler, you're not going to be able to relate to majority of people because you're just different. And I'm telling you, it's going to cause a lot of tension in your life, but you can't let that shit get to your head because it's going to even happen between you and family members. And that just is what it is. Deal with it. This life ain't meant for the weak, bro. If you're a fucking pussy, this ain't for you. My channel ain't for you. I'm not for you. <laughs> because I don't live in the fucking... <laughs> I don't live in fantasy land anymore. I don't. <clears throat> My older, weak self, I killed him. He's done. He's never coming back. You know why? Because he's never going to make me money. He's never going to make me happy. He's never going to get me where I want to be in life. He's never going to help me do the things that I want to do. So why should I let that part of me live? That's something you got to ask yourself every time that you look yourself in the fucking mirror. Stop being a bitch. It's all how bad you want it. How bad do you want it? Because me, I want to kill all my enemies. And I'm just going to keep moving forward until I do. Because at the end of the day, nobody is going to care more about my dreams more than I will. And the same goes for you or anybody fucking else. If you don't put those extra reps in, hey, they're not getting in. You're not getting better. If you don't run those extra laps, you're not getting better. If you don't study extra, you're not getting smarter. <laughs> So it's all on you. You can keep being lazy for the rest of your life if you want to. And then you're just going to keep cheating yourself out of all the blessings that you could have. So keep on cheating yourself. And then you're going to keep settling for less and less and less. And then you're going to be like the rest of these fuckers out here and have a midlife crisis. Go ahead. Go ahead. You want to complain about your life for the rest of your life? 
because you didn't make any good decisions while you were younger, that's on you. But as for me and my subscribers, people who subscribe to my ideology and not just my YouTube channel, <laughs> man, we about to take over the world, motherfucker. Thanks for watching the video. Appreciate you for subscribing. Make sure to like the video on the way out. And I really hope that I motivated you. Because to be honest, bro, this world is sad as fuck. <laughs> Not sad in the sense where it's like, oh my God, oh wow. But sad in the sense where it's like, damn, most people really don't even know how, gr how great they are. Most people don't understand how much potential they really do have. I was a loser. Now I'm not. <laughs> All because of a simple mind shift. What was that simple mind shift? Me just not giving a fuck. <clears throat> I don't care about shit. I don't give a fuck if I get two hours of sleep. I'm still going to get up and do what the fuck I need to do. I don't give a fuck if I don't have the money. I'm still going to find a way to make something happen. I don't give a fuck. And until you adopt that ideology, bro, you're not gonna get shit done, period. Because you're gonna be steady and worried about what other people think about you. You're gonna worry about stupid comments that come on your videos. You're gonna worry about, oh my God, I wonder if she, I wonder how she feels about me. I wonder if she thinks I'm ugly. You're gonna think like that for the rest of your life. It's your choice. <clears throat> You can choose to either be a bitch or you can choose to make life your bitch. You choose. Thank you and have a good night. I got to get up at five.